How's it going everybody? I'm Alan. Welcome to the video. We're going to start this video out with a package. This is my new bug out bag. So there was quite a few comments on my one bug out bag video that my bag was too small, it was packed way too tight, and it was ready to bust. I agree it was. And it's a 20 liter bag. Um, so I upgraded and I got a 40 liter. This one is a little bit bigger. It has, you know, some molly down the side and it also has something that I've wanted, which is on the bottom where you can put a tent underneath it. And this is something like this is what I've wanted. So we're going to be doing two things in this video. First thing is transferring everything from the old bug out bag to the new bug out bag. The old bug out bag is going to go into my car and replace the get home bag that's in my car couple of the zippers have messed up that is a cheap bag so I'm not surprised that it started to fall apart the my old bug out bag is a condor bag so it's a lot better quality so that one's gonna last a lot better in the car so first let's go ahead and transfer everything over here's a new bag and I mean as you can tell I mean it's twice the size there's a big difference between a 20-ish liter and a 40. Only downside to this one is it has nowhere on it for a hydration pack like this one had built into it. Well, this one doesn't, which I think is the only downside to this bag. Um, which means I'm going to have to figure out another way to carry water, which this one has molly on it so then I can do like a canteen you know something on the outside not a big deal there's plenty excuse me plenty of different ways to figure out how to carry water so I guess now and there's okay so there's the big main pouch and there is a another big pouch on the front and then a smaller pouch on the front right there so everything that's in the front pouch on this one is going to go in the front pouch of this I don't know how much we're going to be able to kind of keep the bag kind of laid out the same it's probably going to be a little bit different but that's okay so when we've got booba kit candles Fire starter. We have poncho, gloves, schmog, and two um, emergency space blankets. That's all that's in that first pouch. So hopefully, we can get all that in this one. This thing slide off. Yeah, we're going to do this on the back of the car because the shed is kind of, you know, filled with car parts. And it's a little windy out, but I'm hoping that I've got, finally I've got my wind sock on my phone or on my camera. So hopefully it cuts down on the wind noise. I'm hoping. Yeah. That'll fit in there fine. And I'm also, which people said I don't have, is a headlamp. This is just a $1 headlamp from Walmart, but it is a headlamp. So until I get something better, this will be fine. Then I also have, which I got in a battle box, is water treatment. 
So both of these are going to go in here too. Not sure where yet though. Alright, that's all that was in this first pouch. This second pouch right here was my um, radio that I need to get a new one because it was a cheap one and it wound up breaking. And it had solar wind up it had the weather channel on it a whole bunch of other things so i need to look and invest in something better than the one that was in here because i went to take it on our camping trip just to see how it would work well took it out there and it kind of was broken so needless to say i'm gonna get a new one not a big deal all right so now let's move on to the big pouch that's where everything is. We're gonna leave the paracord out because like I did say at the beginning, we're doing two things and the second thing involves the paracord. Thing in a minute. It still feels heavy. Oh yeah, I forgot there's side pouches on this thing. Man, this thing still feels heavy. Alright. Now I think I got everything out of here. We'll just set that to the side because, again, still a good bag, which we're going to use it, reuse it. All right, we're going to put into the big pouch, of course, the gun. And that's another reason why I went with it's one reason why I went with this one because of the height of it to make sure that it did handle the height of the gun. Well, this one of course does also. So that's one thing that is like a necessity with what I do is it's got to be able to hold the gun, which in its what is it? in its collapsed form, it is 16 and a half inches tall, and I think this bag is 18 or 19. So plenty of room. And it's a lot and that's another thing what makes this bag is it is actually a little bit deeper it's i think an inch and a half taller than the other one two inches deeper and quite a few inches wider yep. and it's canteen and it's got a whole bunch of other things inside of it got my canteen cup, esbit stove just in case, um, scope for the gun, and that is on a quick release because with this, with that gun, you can't really put a scope on it and then collapse it. So I found a scope that is a quick release so it can always go on and off, same position, always true, works perfect. Keep an eye on all the dogs. See, I've got more pouches on here now. I gotta figure out how I wanna do all this. Because before, I didn't have a big one here. This is a lot better bag. I like this one.
and I have a Silcock key. I don't know if a lot of people have these, but this is really a nice thing to have because if you go to schools, a lot of government buildings, a lot of office buildings, they don't have a traditional water spigot on the outside of the house or on the outside of the building like you do on a house. They have a box that you open and then it has one of these keys and you just put it in, turn it, water comes out. This is a vital thing to have. I also do have a collapsible cup. So I mean I have multiple ways of holding water. But not precisely the way or the one that I want. So there's still a few little water at things I want to figure out. One thing I do like about this is so much bigger. There's still so much room. See, I got all that stuff in there, and there's so much room left. So you've got, you know, compression straps for the side, just in case it does, like, bulge out. You can compress it in, which I'm not worried about right yet. So, see, there's still plenty of, plenty of, plenty of room, which is a good thing. One thing what I like is one reason why I also bought this bag not just because of the bottom where I can put a tent is the way the side is set up so I can put my axe on the side of the bag so this is one reason why another reason why I got this bag plus I have you know this case that it, I got from a battle box so Basically, we're going to fit the axe on this one side right here, which will strap it all in, tie it all nice and tight, and have it on the side. Which we'll get to that in a minute. <clears throat> so, the second part of this video is to deal with my hatchet. I want to paracord wrap part of the handle. I'm going to wrap it down to about here, so about three inches. That way it'll kind of give it a little bit of a different look and I'll also have paracord on here just in case it's needed. Plus it's good to have something on here just in case you miss and you hit the hatchet right here. It kind of helps protect the handle. I have only ever wrapped one other thing with paracord and that was the handle in my Jeep. It's like the oh shit handle. It's the only thing I've ever wrapped. So this is going to be the second thing that I've ever wrapped in paracord. I'm just doing a real quick easy wrap where it's just going to be around. There's nothing fancy. So first thing you always do is make a loop up like this so it goes up goes down so that way when you end it you can cinch it tight even though the one I did for my Jeep didn't cinch very tight like I said only that was the first time I ever wrapped anything so this is the second time so hopefully it goes better and I have a hundred feet of paracord. So I know there's enough. And you just keep on winding until it's all the way up, pulling tight as you do it.
sure I don't have to get my big pile all tangled up. So that's got to go back in the bug out bag. Still looks good on both sides, so just keep on winding. I might redo the one in the Jeep since it is the first time I've ever done it and it is a little bit loose. I might take it off and redo that. I think my big old 100 feet is getting tangled. Oh well. All right, almost to the top. So, just a little bit more to go. sitting on it. Really need to sharpen this. Alright, now what they say is pull on not this piece. So it goes, it cut, loops up and it goes back down. So you pull on the opposite end of this, but not to where you start pulling on this. You pull on the part that goes to the loop. So that way it kind of tightens up the bottom. Then you can, you loop this through that still holding tight and then when you pull this part it pulls this top that you just wound up down through there you go now you set, cut this off and cut this off and that'll keep it nice and tight. So went ahead and did it with scissors because I wanted a lot better cut than a knife. And there's the top end, and there's the bottom, all cut and cinched in there. So now let's go put it back and let's go mount it on the bag. So, again, not sure how I'm gonna put this attach it to the side of the bag but I'm gonna get it on there somehow try. I've got some of these plastic carabiners. Got quite a few of these. 
and they clip together you just push the button and they open up it's supposed to there so I'm gonna use some of these and see how that works to attach it on so this is just one I mean it's on there I don't think it's gonna go off so we're gonna put another one down here all right so there's two of them it's on there you can also use the cinch straps on the side cinch it down Now I have the axe on the side and it's held on by two carabiners and the cinch straps holding it tight. Feels good. It does have um, a waist strap on here and a chest strap, so and a sternum strap too. So feels good. I like the way it feels. All right, so now I'm gonna ask for comments. I like when everybody gives me comments. I want somebody to give me a comment on what would be a good um, water carrying device or whatever that can mount on the side of my bug out bag. I'd prefer it to mount on the, the side or somewhere on the outside of the bag because there is molly, all that kind of stuff. So somebody leave me a comment on some ideas of a good water system to have on the outside of my bug out bag all right like subscribe comment catch you in the next video